Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. In this video, I am just going to talk about the beta sheet structure. And the first question in your mind, what is beta sheet or beta plated sheet or beta strand? There are so many names. Now in one word, I can say beta plated sheet or beta sheet is a type of secondary structure of a protein. You know, protein have different structural hierarchy. It starts with a primary structure, which is nothing but a polypeptide chain, linear form of amino acids linked with each other with the help of peptide bonds. Then the secondary structure means simply there will be hydrogen bonds between the adjacent amino acids of the polypeptide chain. Once this hydrogen bonds start forming, the structure of the linear polypeptide is altered to either helix, known as alpha helix, or to a again another helical a little bit uh, different but not exactly like helix a little altered wavy structures known as a beta sheet so in the last video i talked about alpha helix and i told you how exactly alpha helix structures are formed but in this video about beta sheet to understand beta sheet the thing you need to know is about the beta strand now what is beta strand Let's, let's write it this way, beta strand and beta sheet. The difference between the two is beta strand is nothing but a stretch of amino acid sequences placed with each other with the help of uh, like, like this, this is nothing but a, a type of uh, similar primary structures that we know. While beta sheet is a secondary structure where multiple beta strands are linked to each other. Now, how exactly? You know, normally, you know, in amino acids, there are backbone of amino acids. In the backbone, normally, all those primary structures, if you look, the primary structure is formed due to the NCONH bond. That is known as the peptide bond. This is the exact peptide bond. But we know we have adjacent amino acid sequences also. In some other cases, we also have a C, CO and another ANH some in some distant place and because amino acids are linked with one another the idea here is also very similar exactly very similar like the alpha helix structures is that the hydrogen of the nh and the oxygen of the co group can pair in hydrogen bonding this is the idea this was the idea in both the case of alpha helix and beta sheet but there is a fundamental difference between the hydrogen bonding pattern in alpha helix and beta sheet. That's why that is helical, but this one is non-helical. Now, the reason behind it, you know, in alpha helix, I told you, in alpha helix structures, the bond, the hydrogen bond form is between the adjacent amino acid sequences. That means, you know, amino acid number 1, 2, 3, 4. So, amino acid number 1 binds with amino acid number 5 or amino acid number 4 that forms uh, a linkage right so this is the type of link that 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 can be found in alpha helix but in beta sheet the bond is not between the adjacent amino acid sequences while in this case the bond is between the nearby beta strands so we have let's say let's say we have in this case a stretch of amino acid sequences in one of the hands and on the other hand, we have another amino acid sequence. So, so there are polypeptide sequences. Okay, let's say a uh, 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 same polypeptide sequence, but uh, distant amino acid sequences lined uh, after each other, uh, lined parallelly after each other like this. And in this case, from this amino acid, we have this 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 double bond O coming out, and from this amino acid, we have this. In H coming out then the hydrogen bond will be formed in between this will be the hydrogen bond there this is the way the hydrogen bonds are formed so it is not exactly the adjacent amino acid sequences uh, that that are there to form the bond like uh, the alpha helix structures unlike that in this case the hydrogen bond is formed between the two parallel or it may be you know opposite direction but ultimately uh, to, to separate beta strands that are present. These strands are known as the beta strands. So, two separate chain if, that are present. Not the separate means it, it does not mean two separate polypeptide chains, but one chain modified and properly adjusted and placed uh, side by side 
and as a result of it we have CO and we have NH and the H will interact with the O there and forms a hydrogen bond there. That is the idea about the hydrogen bonding in beta sheet structure. That's why beta sheet never forms a helical turn like the alpha helix because in this case the bonding pattern is different. Now normally there are multiple beta strands and there should be at least three to four hydrogen bonding uh, to hold those beta strands together to be worth calling them as a beta sheet. Remember this always. That's the fundamental difference between beta sheet and alpha helix based on its structure. Apart from that, this hydrogen bonding capabilities and stuff are very much similar. Another little difference between alpha helix and beta sheet we can say is that uh, like I told you in during the class of alpha helix that not all the amino acids are well alpha helix formers or well beta sheet formers but in case of beta sheet structures there are no such thing known as a beta sheet breaker because you know few amino acids obviously help to form beta sheets more aggressively compared to the other one uh, but beta strands and this beta sheet structures are mostly found in globular proteins which are the soluble proteins they are much well with the beta sheet structures although you'll also find out beta sheet structures in the membrane attached or membrane anchored proteins as well while you know in case of alpha helix most of them uh, are there to make the membrane proteins uh, membrane embedded proteins most of them so that is another difference between alpha helix and beta sheets so now we go for the second uh, part of this video where i exactly show you the the, the structure of beta sheets in much more details and how exactly it's formed uh, with an animation Stay tuned and watch the video. On the other hand, the other type of secondary structure of the proteins that we see are the beta sheets. They are formed from largely extended polypeptide strands that make hydrogen bonds between the backbone groups of the neighboring strand. So it's, it's different primary structures or the primary structure of the amino acid sequences of the polypeptide chain are arranged side by side and there will be adjoining hydrogen bonding between the neighboring strands of those primary sequences. Now there are two types of uh, beta sheets that we see. One is anti-parallel and another one is a parallel. Parallel ones contains the directionality of the amino acid similar. That is the directionality in this case from N to C terminal from right to the left. Here again N to C right to the left. But for anti-parallel, the directionality will be opposite. So one of the strands going from N to C, another one is going opposite from C to N in this case. The direction of a beta strand is indicated by the sequence of atoms within each side. First the nitrogen colored in blue, second is the alpha carbon colored in black and third is the carbonyl carbon colored in black. These are the three different atoms that we linked okay and in the anti-parallel beta sheet the adjacent strand run in the opposite that we just talked about in an anti-parallel beta sheet the hydrogen bonds between the strands are approximately perpendicular to the direction of the strands this is because the complementarity between the carbonyl and the NH of the amino acids in one strand and those in the next strand that's how they are they're mostly like the perpendicular in, in, in their structures, in their nature, though we cannot see that directly by, by this 2D plane, but that's actually true. Now in a parallel beta sheet, the adjacent strands run in the same direction. This parallel beta sheet, the hydrogen bonds form between the angle with the respect to the direction of the strand. So the angle is little different. In that case, the angle, in case of anti-parallel, the angle is perpendicular. It's, it's, it's it's how it, they are arranged. But in this case, they, this hydrogen bonds will be placed in some sort of angles. Uh, this is because the carbonyl and NH of the amino acids in one strand must find the hydrogen bonding partners that have the greater separation in the other strand. Otherwise, there will be difficulty for them to make any bonds and pairs between them or any hydrogen bonding between them. Both parallel and anti-parallel beta sheets are formed by almost completely extended strands. These strands can be considered as helices with two residues per turn. And uh, 
and in this case this small modification is also required for them to properly stabilize uh, the structures and this this uh, residue this turn uh, that that they produce or this helix that they produce they have a pitch of 7 angstrom in between so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that remember sharing is caring and it also help us to promote so that more and more students can watch this and can get benefits just like you did okay and feel free to comment about the video and also if you think there are some part that we want to talk and you, we need to talk about and make videos about you can also share your ideas thank you